Welcome back to MMA Surge. I'm your host, Andrew the Squid Montanez. So sometimes you get a guy in an arm bar and his hands are locked and you don't know what to do. So we call that position the spider web position. Today I'm going to show you three unique submissions you could do from this position when the guy's hands are locked and you can't find anything else to do. All right. Let's bring Scott in so I can demonstrate these three unique submissions. So go down on your back. So if you were the partner, just start him on his back. Scoot forward a little bit. So you start with your partner here. So feet here. Your feet can be crossed, knees together. So I'm looking for his hands to be locked. This is his hands locked. If I'm going for the arm bar, I can't get the arm bar. So what, what I like to do is I like to take one arm, I like to shoot it through, I like to grab my outer thigh. So if I'm looking to armbar the guy, this, this alone can put enough pressure to, to break his hands apart. But I'm not looking to break his hands apart, I'm looking to break his wrist. So the way I go about breaking his wrist is, the hand that's on the thigh, I take my other hand, and I slap it down on top of his wrist. Now that I slap my hand down on top of his wrist, hand on the thigh, comes to my wrist. So similar to like your key lock position where you're grabbing your own wrist, reinforcing. So I'm gonna, do, I'm gonna pull back and make the guy think, I'm going for this arm bar. Pulling, I'm pulling. I want him to resist. Once he keeps resisting, I'm gonna slide my hand from his wrist to up to his knuckle. I'm gonna push down and I'm gonna look to get his hand to bend like this. So I'm here, all I'm gonna look to do is keep pushing and get myself a submission. So he locks his hand, I come here, right here you can get myself a submission. If the guy has a strong wrist, maybe he'll fight his hand back, but I have an arm bar, so I can finish him. That's number one, break the guy's wrist. Number two, we're gonna do something called a bicep crush. So the way the bicep crush is gonna work, I'm gonna look to crush his bicep with my forearm. So I have him here, same position. Just like I'm going for this wrist lock. I'm pulling, I'm pulling. I'm gonna take my top foot, which is this lower leg, and I'm gonna step over my own, I'm gonna step over this hand right here. So I'm here, I step over, and now this free leg is gonna come over the top, and I pull my, I pull my hand out, and I step over. So right here, I can almost submit the guy, but what I wanna do is I wanna get these two bones I'm gonna turn my thumb out. See how he, he, he cringed? My hand's like this, he won't tap, but I turn my hand out, it puts the bone between his forearm and his bicep, and now all I do is squeeze down, get my submission. So what's happening here is, these two bones are between here, and my foot is crushing them down where he's gonna submit right there. So one more time, I'm fighting, I'm fighting, Let's say there's 10 seconds left in the round. I need to finish him. Step over, boom, get myself a tap. That's number two. And the third one, kind of one I kind of came up with along the way is, I'm going for this arm bar, I'm going for this arm bar. I, I, I want to get this guy a tap, I can't get him to tap. So I take my free hand, I'm going to put it through here, and I'm going to look to almost key lock him. So his hands are locked here. I come through, and my elbow will usually break the guy's grip. And now all I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna sit back, and I'm gonna drop this elbow, and get myself a submission right here. So the cool thing about this one, if you have a really tough guy, I could just keep going down toward, see? I could keep cranking this down here, and he's gonna tap, and if, and if it doesn't tap, I switch back to the arm bar, hips up, get my submission. So one more time, I'm here. So I get, I'm, grab, I'm holding my thigh. Let's scoot a little bit. So I'm holding my thigh. I come through. See, that, that'll just break the guy's grip if you guys just want to go for an arm bar. But I come all the way through, keep my knees pinched together. So if I open my legs, he'll get some space. Keep my knees pinched together, grab my hand, get my submission. Those are three ways if you find yourself in this spider whip position, can't tap the guy, wrist lock, bicep crush, modified.
right, so let's recap what to do from the spider web position or the failed arm bar position where the guy's hands are locked. First, arm goes through, grab your thigh. Put a lot of pressure on the guy's arm. First one you're going to go for is your wrist lock. So you take your opposite hand that's not grabbing your thigh, grab your, grab your opponent's wrist, then the hand that's grabbing the thigh, you grab your own wrist. Once you're ready, you pull back. You're going to slide the, the bottom hand up to the wrist, push down, should be able to get your submission, break the guy's wrist, get your hand raised. The second one is the bicep crush. So you're going to take your leg that's closest to your opponent's legs, you're going to put that over his forearm. Remember, your arm is going to be under and through, grabbing your thigh. So you're throwing your leg over, stepping over your other foot, turn your thumb out so the bone is in his forearm and his bicep, squeeze, lift your hips up, get your submission. And the third one is your modified key lock arm bar position. So you're going to take your hand that is not grabbing your thigh, you're going to reach through and around his, uh, his elbow, lock your hands, drop your elbow, get your submission, a lot of pain for your opponent. All right, so that was some variations you could do on the arm bar from the spider web position. Remember, when you have someone in a submission that's not working, you don't just have to throw it out and bail out on the submission. It's all about transitioning. So it's learning how to go from one submission to another submission to another submission and being ahead of your opponent. So the more submissions you learn, the more positions you can transition to. Remember, check out all of our videos so you can learn how to transition. I'm the Squid. I'll see you next time on MMA Surge.